now that we're done fixing part two and we've got all the components ready, we can start importing them into this file. So we'll move on to insert button or insert tab. We start with the part one, so just click on that and just add it into the model. At this point, because this is the start, it doesn't matter where exactly you're placing it, anywhere should be fine. Next, we're going to move on to the part studio two. If I click on that, drag them, just rotate the shape so that you're looking at the right side and you can place them as you can see here so if I look at the right side here the shape is exactly in between the two if you notice that you're not happy with the position of the shape you can just click on the shape itself first you click tick click on the shape itself and then drag it downwards so for example this one goes a bit lower. The thing about this though is that it moves only one of the two shapes so remember the values for both sides so that you can convert them. For this side I would say type in minus fifteen okay and you do the same for the other side again going to drag this to minus 15. So now both shapes are down here, both shapes are centered on the shape itself and that should be fine. Now, moving on to the next one, so now that we've got, uh, we have the chassis and the rockers inserted, we're going to add in the boogie. So we're going to insert that and we're just going to place it anywhere. Click on tick. Okay. Now this shape here should fall into in between these two uh, gaps here. So I'm going to go into that side here, this one, and I am going to select this surface and I am going to place that right there. So right there. And then zoom out. You will notice that the shape might be a bit too high. If you click on the tick sign, you can easily just modify it. So you click on the shape and you drag it lower until it is at this point down here. So this is where it should be, right there. Now that you've got your rocker in there, you can go on and add in another uh, rocker again on the other side and do the same thing. So click on the tick sign, click on that one, zoom into the surface. So this is what we want here. And we want that aligned with this one here. And the shape will be inserted, but also as you can see it is too high. So just click on it and drag it downwards. And that should be fine there. So now we've got both rockers, both boogies, and we just need the top cover. So again, insert, and we add in our top cover. Again, it could just be anywhere, but then we can link into the shape where we want to. So just zoom in after you click this one. You're going to select this surface and then you're going to select this surface. So now the shape is going to be connected here. Apologies, it shouldn't be that surface, it should be this surface here. So I'm just going to redo that again, cancel all of that. So what we're selecting is, again, so not this one, this one here. That surface should be aligned with this surface. Yeah? And then click on the tick sign. Now you can see that the shape is completed. So if I just click on the isometric view, I'll be able to see that my shape or my space rover is ready. I've got both my rockers and boogies on both sides. I've got my chassis and um, the top cover connected all together. So this is a complete shape. It's only missing 
the uh, motors and the wheels. So that's what we're going to do next. I'm just going to shift the view to this side as I add in my components. Now to add in the components, I've linked them. If you're watching this on YouTube, I've linked them under the video, but if you're watching this um, as a student of mine, then you'll find all the components in LMS. So these are all the components that you need. You will need to download them and you will find these under Space Rover Components. So I've added this into the Project Resource Unit under Plan. And then there's the third lesson here that says Space Rover Components, and you've got three components. The DC motor, the DC motor wheel, and then the solar panel. So you will need to download all of these files and then upload them in here. We actually need to go into the Insert New tab, and then we're going to Import. So by clicking on import, I've got the file saved in my downloads and I've got those files right here. So I've got my DC motor, I've got my DC motor wheel and I've got this one. So I'm just going to add them all in and I'm going to import them to this document. I will import the appearance and make sure you're checking all of these. Yeah, so that will add all of the components that we need. Now that all the components are added, they should appear down here. So you should be able to see your DC motor. You should be able to see your, your wheel and the solar panel as well. Going back to the assembly tab, we're going to start off by adding our... Um, so right at this tab here, you'll find the DC motor. So I'm going to start off by adding that. I'm just going to click anywhere down here. And I'm going to need a couple of them, so I'm just going to add one on that side, one on that side. Should have a total of six, so I'll add two here as well. And then click on the tick, so I should have three on this side and three on that side. I'm going to start off with this one, so if I just move my vision into the right, and click on this one and shift so that it's pointing towards that side. And I'll do the same with this one here. Yeah, so this one should look to the other side and make sure that all of them have an angle of 90. So that should have an angle of 90. The same with this one, an angle of 90. This one as well should have an angle of 90. But on to the other side, you can always just drag them. Okay, now that I have all of them at an angle of 90, I'm just going to place all of them to the side. Yeah, I'll start off by this one here. So I'm just going to look at the shape from the bottom. I'll click on this one and then just zoom into that surface. This one should be aligned with that one over there. So if I look at the shape from this side, I could see that the shape is aligned. Another thing also I want to make sure is that that point there this one, this shape, is aligned with this surface here, yeah? And then click on the tick and you will have your shape aligned there. You can always drag it to the front if you'd like to, but this should be fine. And then I could do the same with the rest of them, so I'm just going to fast forward this video until I've added all the wheels.
Okay, now that we're back here, we've got all the wheels have been added, I mean, sorry, all the motors have been added, and we're going to do the same to add in the wheels now. So just insert, and then we're going to the back parts again, and this time we're going to add the wheels. We're going to need six wheels as well, so just put six of them on that side, and then six of them on the other side. And then click tick. Now that you see your shape, you've got all the wheels here. Again, we're just going to rotate them to a 90 degree. The same with the rest of them as well, just a 90 degree. And this one's going to be rotated to the other side to a 90 degree. Now that we've got all the wheels ready here, we could just drag them so we have them positioned. Next, we're going to use the um, Revolute fixture. So we're just gonna go into that wheel over there, click on the inside, and then select where we wanna fit it. So we've got one, two, three over there. I'm just gonna click here, and then that fits perfectly into the position. Do the same with the other wheels. So I'm going to do one. And I'm going to fix that into that over there. Click on the tick. And then the last one. Second. Yeah, so now I've got the last one, which is that one over there. And I will fit that into this one here. And then take. Doing the same for the other side as well. So I'm just going to look at that one there. Fit it into one of these. Done. Same for the other one. Done, and then the last one. And that should fit into the last one over here. Done. Now that we look at our shape, we see, you can notice that I have all the wheels uh, connected. We've got the shapes. This is the rocker, this should be rotating up at this point here and then I've got the top cover there. Now the last thing to add here is the solar panels at the top so I'm just going to leave this shape and add in the solar panels so again we're going into the insert again we're going into the composite parts and the last part is the solar panels. So just drag in two, I'm going to put one on this side and one on this side here and then click on the tick now this shape, if I just look at this object from the top, I would like to rotate it so that it's aligned here. And I will do the same here as well. I'm just going to rotate so that it's almost aligned. Next, I'm just going to use this and that over there. So I'm just going to position this to be aligned here. Tick. And then I'm just going to zoom in and make sure that this edge here is aligned with that edge over there. Yeah, so just by doing that, you'll have your shape fixed and we do the same for the other side. So this one should be here. And then next, this should be Doing that, we have our space rover ready, and this is the final shape.
If you've reached this point, congratulations, you've come a long way.